let me take back everything I said last week. Okay guys, so I'm not necessarily taking back what I said last week so much as uh, just adding on to that thought a little bit. I will add that I'm on my back porch. It's very windy. Dogs are barking, there's wind chimes, and there's cars zooming by trying to get home. I'll be honest with you, I'm in a bit of a pinch. It's Tuesday night at 6.30 and I've got to post this video up Thursday morning, so I'm in a bit, a bit of a scramble to get this done. That's why we're doing it out in the wind. But the topic for this video this week is some of the bad, some of the worst songs that I've written. And so I'm just going to give you some of the worst songs I've written and let me start the video by saying this and I'll probably end the video saying this as well. It's not a waste of time ever to create something. Go ahead and create something. Um, a lot of these songs... You know, for maybe every one good song I've written, I've probably got five terrible songs behind that. And I think that's fine. I think in those moments when I'm writing these bad songs, I don't know that they're bad yet. All I know is that I've got an idea and it feels so cool and so good to get to sit down and to watch that idea come to life. And then I find out later, ah, that was kind of dumb. Oh well, um, in that moment I felt creative and I felt good about my creation and that encouraged me every other time I wrote a song and that's what made all the good songs I have is putting my head down and saying, well, uh, let me stop in the middle and see if this is worthwhile. Nope, it just helps me to put my head down and, and to do work and, and see what I come up with. And so um, that's how you get the good songs you had last week, but that's also how you get a lot of the bad songs we had this week. So, the first one that I have on my list for this video is a song called Betty Brown, and if I can find it anywhere, it sounds like this. Betty Brown, why you look so sad, who's bad brown, girl, it's not so bad, bad, dear brown, bad dear brown. So the thing with Betty Brown, really quickly, is it was a response to Mika's song, Billy Brown, uh, which is about a husband leaving his wife for someone else, and so I tried to write from the perspective of the, um, the wife who lost her husband, and uh, it's really not hardly a response at all. I don't think it really makes a ton of sense. The reason I wrote the song is because I had... Um, some chords. We talked about that in the past video that I just had some chords sitting around that I really wanted to sing to but didn't have an idea on what to sing about yet. Uh, and so Betty Brown ended up being the song I wanted to do. And so really the bulk of Betty Brown is just a really annoying melody um, that even today my friends who listened to my music back then and have been with me even up to now, we still sing the song to each other uh, kind of in a joking way. It's kind of been a punchline for a couple things. And so that's Betty Brown, just kind of a childish song that's kind of annoying but catchy. The next song that I have for you in this video is my song called Single, and this is what it sounds like. We can fight. So my song Single um, really comes out of me getting this computer for the first time many, many years ago and deciding to show that I don't have to have a guitar with me. I can play cool synthy keyboard stuff. And so I plugged a, um, a MIDI keyboard into this computer and I found some um, arpeggiators um, 
and just held down some notes until I got some cool synthy sounds. Uh, and I essentially just sang about, ooh, how I wish I had a girlfriend. And that's, um, you'll find some of these songs, uh, the last song we talked about, Betty Brown, we'll say that that was written in Baby Jeff years. We'll, we'll call Baby Jeff ages 12 to 14, which is just two years. Uh, and then we'll say Infant Jeff is 15 to 18. So uh, Betty Brown was a Baby Jeff song, and Single is an Infant Jeff song with new technology, hey, look at what I can do, that sort of thing. I don't record with the metronome, and I didn't back then either, so the kick gets way off rhythm. Um, some of the high notes that I try to hit towards the end, I either completely miss entirely, or I absolutely nail, but then I don't close the vowel out correctly at the end of the word, and it sounds terrible. Uh, my friends and I still laugh about that one. And also the entire premise of the song is, ooh, I wish girls liked me, um, which again, is super lame of Infant Jeff to write a song about. The next song is called When I Miss You. This is what it sounds like. The problem with When I Miss You is really not a big one. Uh, I kind of struggle to put this song on this list anyway. Um, it came from a very real part of me and a very sad part of me about relationships being broken. And so I wrote When I Miss You, and I think it's a really neat song. I think it's a really pretty song. I don't remember how it goes exactly, and you might think that doesn't make any sense. We just listened to it. Um, that's not how it originally went. Um, a lot of the songs I've written in past years, I do not remember how to play or how to sing, uh, and I just had to kind of redo them. So that was one of those songs. Really, my only issue with this song is when I get lazy, which is often, instead of singing When I Miss You, which is the name of the song, sometimes it comes out When I Miss You. Uh, when you're singing and, you know, emotional and trying to play it. And so it kind of sounds like Infant Jeff wrote a song about when he becomes a sentient chew every once in a while. Super weird. The last song that I have on the list for this video is called When Infinite Begins, and this is what that one sounds like. So if you've known my music from the beginning, you might be thinking, Jeff, how could you put this song on this list? It was one of your most popular songs ever. Well, popular for Baby Jeff. And the reason I thought it was so cool was because When Infinite Begins sounds so mysterious and uh, something that you can't calculate. And um, I just thought it doesn't have to, the song doesn't have to mean anything. I'll just say When Infinite Begins and it'll blow everyone's mind. And then I'll uh, do like a Mickey D's scat towards the end of the song. But really, that's just kind of the main thing with that. Just a massive eye roll for the song When Infinite Begins. So that brings us to the end of the video for this week. I apologize for the noise. I apologize for the lighting. It's not a waste of time to put your time and effort into creating something. And if it turns out bad, oh well. You know, some of the bad songs I didn't include on this list are because they were bad. And then I never listened to them again. And then years down the road... I listened to that song and said, this song could be good if it was about something else. And so instead of singing in the, singing about a girl, um, you know, I took the guitar chords, decided to sing about something that was happening in the world around me today, and make that the song. And it became a good song. This is almost the last video. Next week, we're going to talk about something, and it's going to be a super short video. Super short. And then the video after that is going to be what is scheduled as the final video. And uh, it won't be the last you see or hear of me because that last video is going to be the big, big announcement and it's going to lead to other really big things that I'm excited for. And so I appreciate you staying along for the ride and watching these videos, even if you're going back and you know watching these videos for the first time and you're not watching them as they release every Thursday, that's fine. Um, I appreciate you watching and liking and sharing these. If you want to see more, if you want me to go back and expound on some of the topics I talked about in the last videos, uh, maybe we can talk about doing weekly videos again or bi-weekly videos, something like that. But um, again, I'm just, uh, I'm super excited for what's coming. 
We've got one more video next week that'll be normal about a topic. And then the video after that is going to be the big pitch. So uh, look forward to that video. I look forward to that video. I look forward to next week as well. Uh, and I'll see you guys then. But maybe it's cause I'm wearing your cologne 